electromagnetic general purpose clutches. Ogura's general purpose clutches are extremely versatile. They are used in applications from automotive to industrial machinery. The majority of general purpose clutch applications are used on small gas or diesel engines. Clutches can be mounted directly on engine shafts or jack shafts. Electromagnetic clutches can be found in many applications that are transferring rotary motion from a gas or diesel engine to a pump, compressor, or other device requiring on-off rotary motion, engaging when needed and disengaging when not, increasing overall component life, and reducing energy. Typical applications for general purpose clutches are road maintenance equipment, marine drives, pumps and compressors, agricultural equipment, floor care equipment, and construction. The key components to the clutch are the hub or pulley, armature, rotor, and field. A ball bearing is mounted under the hub or pulley for support. Another ball bearing is located between the rotor and the field. It supports the weight of the field during rotation, allowing the field assembly to remain stationary. Newer model clutches are one-piece designs that are extremely easy to install. The smallest models include an integral key. Older style general purpose clutches are two-piece construction, so the shafting going through the clutch has to be able to support both halves of the clutch. All general purpose clutches have either a built-in pulley or a universal mount flange. The universal mount flange option is the most flexible because you can simply change the pulley or sprocket diameter to get the operating speed required. When utilizing a standard clutch with different pulleys, you reduce inventory cost and increase operating speed flexibility. Clutches operate electrically but transmit torque mechanically. When current is applied to the clutch coil, it becomes an electromagnet and produces magnetic lines of flux. In multiple pole clutches, the magnetic attraction points are multiplied by the number of flux paths created. Smaller general purpose clutches use a double flux construction, but higher torque general purpose clutches use a triple flux design. When magnetic flux is created in the field coil, it goes into the rotor, which has a number of slots. On the corresponding armature, similar slots are made, which forces the flux to travel in a north-south pattern, looping across the armature and rotor face. These multiple points of contact increase the torque output of the clutch, reducing weight and size. The magnetized rotor and armature attract each other. The clutch slips for a very short time on initial engagement. The time depends upon the speed and the inertia being accelerated. The torque is transmitted from the rotor to the armature and into the leaf springs driving the hub or pulley. When the clutch is fully engaged, there is no slippage and the torque transfer is 100% efficient. All general purpose clutches use leaf springs to transmit the torque. The springs need to run in tension, not compression. So clutches are either built to run clockwise or counterclockwise. When the current or voltage is removed from the clutch, the armature is pulled away and held in place by the leaf springs, creating a small air gap. In all general purpose clutches, friction material is not used and contact is steel on steel. General purpose clutches allow the operator to engage rotation only when needed. This increases the life of the driven component. Also, since it is not running all the time, horsepower is not being wasted, which results in fuel savings. By using a general purpose clutch, an operator can engage and disengage a driven component remotely, which provides convenience for the operator and also keeps the operator a safe distance away from rotating equipment. Installation is very simple. Most clutches are one-piece construction, which easily slides onto an engine or a jack shaft. Power for the clutch can come right off the 12-volt or 24-volt battery, and there are no further adjustments required.